this is the hat that I'm talking about. It's a very plain disc of felt. And uh, this one is, is sold as a, a woman's summer hat uh, on eBay. Got it for only a few quid. It's thick felt and it's black. Uh, it's got a decorative sort of band on it. It looks a little bit womanly and girly. So I'm going to get rid of that. And uh, just I'm left with a plain disc with a plain dome raised in the middle of it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how they raised that dome. They presumably had some sort of dome shaped mold and, and with steam and a big thing going whatever they got it into that shape. So um, there you go. It's a plain felt hat. Now, if I put it on, uh, you'll see that it f sort of flops into that woman's uh, floppy uh, summer look rather readily because that's what it was designed for. And it's been actually it's had a bit of a wave put into it. But if I pull it taut, you'll see that it suddenly becomes something like one of those preacher hats that you see in, in, in the Wild West movies, don't you? And of course, there are lots of clerics in Europe as well that wore hats like this until not all that long ago. And uh, if you want to make a cowboy hat, yes, you can make a cowboy hat out of this because all you've got to do is you've just got to dunch in the top like that and give it a bit of a pinch. And then, OK, I'm not doing this brilliantly well, but you get the idea and you roll up the sides and yee it's a cowboy hat. But it's more than that, because what if I flatten the front up like that to perhaps put a pin in and so forth? And ha-ha, it's a sort of hat as worn by Serrano de Bergerac or any of the three musketeers because people in those days would wear this sort of hat and just sort of fold it this way and that and put pins through and feathers on and so forth and just make it their own. But essentially they're all this sort of hat. And there's another sort of hat where the, the back's up like that. And if you imagine a much wider hat so that it could, uh, the brim could meet above the head, if you do that with it, it's Napoleon hat. Though in fact, there were hats of roughly the size, this brim size that had the front and the back uh, up like this as well. And if you flatten it there, like that, how I'm doing this, and then the back up like that. There you go. There's an admiral's hat, so, or a cap sea captain's hook, such as uh, Captain Cook had a hat that was this shape. And of course, if you do it that way, uh, you end up with uh, Duke of Wellington's hat. And again, there were ones which were smaller in proportion than the Duke's, which was extra big because he was terribly posh. But uh, like this, for instance, you see that one? You see the, the picture that I'm putting up now? Like that. If the top was square rather than rounded, so you just put it on a slightly different mold when you're steaming it onto the into its shape, then it'd be a Guy Fawkes hat. Um, or you could put a, a ribbon round like that, stick a feather in and up on one side. And again, it's a sort of cavalier um, period, you know, as in round heads and cavaliers or, or Serrano de Bergerac again or the Musketeers again. It's that sort of period, that sort of hat. Um, but there are more. If I fold up the back and then the two diagonals on the front, you end up with a tricorn, the standard hat of goodness knows how many soldiers in the 1700s. One of the commonest hats around. Yep, it, and, and they were often this sort of size as well. And of course, it's a pirate hat, Arr! Um, because it was a civilian as, hat as well. Loads of people wore tricorns back in, that, in, in the time. So you can actually make an awful lot of authentic hats out of this one hat. People just made these hats their own. They added badges and decoration and ribbons and so forth. And they folded things this way and that way and pinned things and shaped things. But essentially, they are all this hat. So if you want a collection of your own authentic hats, you can get on to eBay and buy just loads of plain black women's felt summer hats. And if you have some way, and I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is because I haven't found out, but if you have some way of shaping felt permanently in, so that you could get it to hold the tricorn shape, the uh, uh, in Britain we sometimes call these Dick Turpin hats, even though actually Dick Turpin probably didn't wear one of these hats. Um, uh, there you go, you'd have a collection of authentic hats. Huzzah! <laughs>